folks, it's Mike at the Pen Outpost. Next up in the Kyo no Oto series is a color that they consider a violet, even though it is named after a bean called the Azuki bean, which is red, kind of a reddish violet, purple, reddish, brownish color. Hard to describe, but it's called Azuki. A-D-Z-U-K-I. You may see it written with or without the D in it. So Adzuki or Azuki or Azuki. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but that is the color. It's basically a reddish violet or a reddish purple. All right, so it lays down more like, I think what you would kind of call a red-black, but it has that just little bit of a lean of burgundy to it, and I think that's where it ends up falling. It ends up falling somewhere around a, more of a burgundy than anything else. So we'll give that just a minute and see what we can find. Okay, looking good. So off the nib, you can see there's some there's some variation in there, which may have more to do with um, with that glass nib than a regular nib because it was it's kind of skipping on the downstrokes, and I don't know if that was just a if the nib was in the in the um, the wrong orientation or if it was the ink that was doing that. I'm not really sure. Either way, what we have here is a lovely, I mean, I'm, I'm closer to calling it a red black now than I was a burgundy before, but it just depends on your definition of burgundy. And um, I'll show you what I mean, because Noodler's definition of burgundy to me is almost purple. Uh, it's more of a, that kind of magenta, uh, purpley burgundy. So it comes off the nib closer to a burgundy, but once you swab it down, it lightens up like most colors do. So not even close. Which is fine, you know. And then I pull red black. We're going all noodlers on this one. Very, very similar um, kind of a base color. This one pulls a little bit more purple. And then there's noodlers. Whoops. <laughs> there's a surprise at the end. Noodlers nightshade, which is closer in color to the darker areas. Very similar. Kind of that really dark. You could almost call it a maroon as opposed to a burgundy. And then there's that last one, uh, Dime Mines 150th Burgundy Royale. Very, very similar color. More saturation of color, but basically the same color, more or less. Uh, even off the nib, they, they look a little different, but they're very, very, very close. So, you know, two different burgundies, but this is the one that really looks like that Adzuki Eero. So... Another nice color, you know, a little bit of a little bit of shading here and there, but you know, we'd have to try that again to see if that is normal off the nib or not with that. Uh, I think it was more of the, the glass pen skipping, but either way, it is a beautiful deep reddish violet color. Adzuki Iro from Kyo no Odo. Three milliliter sample, 40 milliliter bottle, the pen outpost on eBay and the penoutpost.com. Thanks for watching.